Okay, listen up. Right after today's digital life hack, we've got a weekend call from the Kim Commando Show. You're going to love it. I'm an e-bike rider, and e-bikes are loaded with tech. They're pricey, fun, and selling like crazy, too. But are they safe? I'm Kim Commando, America's Digital Pro. In New York last year, there were 200 reported e-bike fires. Some led to buildings burning down, major injuries, and even death. The bike's lithium-ion batteries are the main culprit here. Most are cheap China goods, likely to overcharge and then catch fire, especially if you're used to thrashing your bike. Luckily, there is a way to see if your e-bike battery is up to snuff. Check to see if it's UL2271 certified. This means the battery has passed rigorous tests, from how it handles heat to its durability if dropped, making sure that it's less likely to short-circuit or overcharge. You'll find the UL2271 certification mark on the battery itself or inside the product's manual. If it's not immediately visible, contact the bike's manufacturer directly for confirmation. Don't play with your life. Sign up for my free newsletter at getkim.com. Staying true to my promise, I've got an exceptional call for my weekend show, the Kim Commando Show, just for you. Ron in Salinas, California. Beautiful Salinas. Hello there, Ron. Hi, Kim. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. How can I help you out today, sir? Well, uh, uh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. Take, hey. a deep, take a deep breath. Whatever's bothering you. I'm your friend. I'm right here to help you. Take a deep breath. Okay. My wife and I had, had different cell phones. I always liked the flip phone. She had the smartphone. She passed away four years ago. Oh. It, it, so now, now I carry a smartphone. And what I want to do is, it's an iPhone 7. It needs to be updated. But when somebody calls the phone, like the family or friends, it, if I don't answer the phone, it has her voice about leave a message. It, I want that. You want to save I that? I want to save that forever and put it on the new phone. Okay. Yes. All right. You know what, Ron? You're very brave. I'm glad you called, and I'm going to help you out. Okay. Uh, so that this Thank way, you. this way, we never lose that very, very important hold that you have in your memory and your wife's voice, because you know, at the end of the day, what do we have? We talk about all this technology, but what do we have, Ron? Right, we we all we have are our memories and our families, and that's what matters most. And that's one of the greatest uses of technology is that it allows us to have these memories. Right, it allows us to to keep these and to refer back to them, and to always keep that person in their in their in your heart and close to you. Okay, now I'm going to tell you a way that you can do it, but I'm going to tell you how you can do it. But then I'm going to tell you something else, okay? So first, let's talk about how you can do it. Is that when you go on your iPhone, in the upper left-hand corner, there's a, uh, a link that says greeting. So if you hit greeting, that's where you can select voicemail, and then you can say play it, okay? And then you can use another phone on your PC to record it, or you can record it, and it's really easy to do that. But here's another way you can do it, okay? Is that, uh, and I'm going to do this for you because I don't want you to take a risk of losing it, okay? When do you need to? When do you need to trade in this phone? I haven't. I haven't decided yet because I didn't know whether I. One of the things that's important to me is having a quality camera because I used to not only carry my phone, a flip phone, but a separate camera. And uh, now do I buy the 13 that's out or do I wait for a 14? Well, but in the meantime, in the meantime, my daughter gave me her 10. Okay. All right. You know, the whole thing is like the 14 will be out in the fall. That's what always happens. Okay. And it's going to have bigger, it, and it always has better cameras. That's always the bottom line there. So if you need a, my advice is always, if you need a camera now, you buy a camera or you buy a phone. If you don't need a new phone, then you wait until the fall, which is about six months, you know, five, five months away. Okay, so now about this special voicemail green, what I'm going to do is we are going to, I'm going to get your phone number, and then we are going to call the, your phone with the, with the voicemail on it from your wife, okay? Okay. And then we are going to record it in our super duper studios, and then we're going to send you the MP3 file. Cool. Okay, so that this way, like 
This way, there's no risk of anything happening bad, and there's no risk of anybody messing it up. And But if you want to record it, we have the steps you know, over on the website. I don't know if those steps are exactly there, but you can go to greeting and play, and then you can record on another device. But uh, let's make sure, um, Amber, that we get Ron's phone number, and then we're going to record that for you, Ron, and we'll send it off to you so this way you always have that very important memory of your wife. Hey, a huge thank you for streaming with me. Now, if you're puzzled about something techie, I'm your gal. Just find the email Kim link over at commando.com and let those questions fly away. Now, every email gets my eyeballs, I promise. And keep your digital life in the know. Be sure you sign up for my free newsletter over at getkim.com.